Bertazzoni ranges are manufactured in the Emilia-Romagna region of Italy, a region renowned for a deep culinary tradition. Well, we have some pretty good culinary traditions here in the United States as well. We love to cook turkeys, bake brownies, chocolate chip cookies, Sunday night dinner. And I want to assure you that this oven and this range is really up to the task. This is a Bertazzoni 36-inch Master Series All Gas Range. You can use the oven in either regular bake or in convection. And I'm going to give you some tips to help you with your roasting and traditional baking using either the regular bake or the convection mode. The convection mode is the ideal choice for roasting meats, vegetables, and fish. When we cook with convection, the convection fan evenly circulates heat around the oven, and there's many benefits. One is we can cook on multiple racks at one time with no transference of flavor. The greatest benefit is that when we use convection, we have a lot more moisture retention in the food. Now you'll notice I had the chicken sitting on a rack elevated above the pan. If I had the chicken sitting directly on the pan, the heat of the pan would eventually leach the moisture out of the chicken and the fan would pick up all that moisture and splatter it all around the oven. So, for roasting large cuts of meat, it's ideal to put them on a rack in a shallow pan when roasting in convection. If you're cooking a small chicken breast or a pork tenderloin or a piece of fish, it's fine to put that meat directly onto a rimmed baking sheet. When you want to roast on several racks at one time, there's a couple of things to consider. One is the rack position. I started my chicken up on rack position two and I had a spare rack underneath for the vegetables. I chose that position because I especially wanted my potatoes to be close to the bottom heat to get nice and crispy. Now when you are cooking several things at one time, it involves a little planning. You have to estimate the cooking time of the meat and then factor in the resting and the carving time. Then that way you put your vegetables in so that they'll be ready to serve when the meat is carved and ready to serve. Convection is the ideal mode to choose when you want to bake on multiple racks at one time. But there are a few things to be very careful of when you bake in convection. First is temperature. When you bake in the convection mode, you must reduce your recipe temperatures by 25 degrees, but only when you're baking. Remember, convection is a strong driving heat circulating the air around the oven. If you don't reduce your recipe temperatures, the edges of your baked items will have a dark ring and the center won't even be cooked through. The next most important thing to remember is rack position. Notice how I've elevated the racks to rack position two and three, so I'll get nice even browning with my cookies. The trays I'm using to bake the cookies on are totally flat cookie sheets, and these are perfect for cookies. Try to avoid using trays that have the little cushion air in them because you already have plenty of air circulating around the oven from the convection fan. Now, if convection is the mode of choice for doing multiple rack baking and also for roasting, then you might wonder when will you use regular bake? Regular bake is actually a great mode to use for traditional baking. If you think about a cake batter or a bread batter, it starts off quite wet. And what does it have to do? It has to dry out. And radiant heat, or traditional bake, does exactly that perfectly. Again, rack position is extremely important. When you're baking a cake, choose either rack position two or three, so it's in the middle of the oven. But if you're baking pies, breads, or pizza, items that will benefit from more heat at the base of the crust, then definitely lower the rack to position two, or in the case of pizza, definitely use rack position one. Now when you bake in regular bake, you do not need to reduce the recipe temperature at all. However, do take into account that the Bertazzoni gas oven is quite a powerful oven, and until you get used to how it cooks, 
always check your recipe about two-thirds of the way through the cooking time. That way you'll avoid overcooking food or undercooking food. Every oven is just a little bit different, so it's impossible to say that every recipe is perfect for every oven. Bertizzoni ranges are finely crafted cooking machines. After all, they have been manufacturing them for over a hundred years now. By following the simple tips I've given you today for baking and roasting, you should be able to achieve success with every type of cooking in your Bertizzoni range.